Hi guys and welcome to Retrobeard. Tonight's episode is going to be a homebrew gaming episode on the ZX Spectrum. Really looking forward to this one. Um, this game I originally saw on David Plays Retro Games Badly. Um, I'll be putting a link to his channel around here in a card uh, for you to see. Um, tonight's game is Vradax Sphere. Um, at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Um, that was originally released by the Sanchez crew in Russia in 2018. My version, which is here, is from Boom Fun Software. I just got to buy it from them because this is the name sounds a lot cooler. As you can see, guys, this is a look at the at the outer cover. There is also a spine cover as well, and it's also personalised, which you might be able to see there. You get your name written in there. Um, so let's just have a quick look inside. As you can see, the artwork is pretty damn good. Nice scary looking guy on there. We've got uh, loading screen and some screenshots on the back and a bit of the story. And if we look inside, got nice instructions, everything you could want there. So then we look at the tip. Tips these days are way cooler, than, way cooler than what they used to be back in my day. Um, this is what this one looks like. Look at that beautiful red. That's awesome. Red for blood. This is a horror game. Now, when my friend Dave played it, um, it, it did look pretty good and he had a, a little bit of practice at it, I think. That's my excuse anyway. Um, this is the first time that I've, um, that I've played this game. So I'm going to get it loaded up. I'm using the original, uh, uh, original hardware, my ZX Spectrum Plus 2 128K. And uh, we're going to see how we got on. So this is what happened. So there we go, that's a little intro there um, into the game, bit of a bit of a backstory, you can hear the music there, that's a bit of a classic tune, listen to that, listen to the sound chip on the ZX Spectrum, well I never knew. There we go, a lovely sight there. So, we should go down to options. Chemistry, yes. Excellent. So I did watch some of um, David's video, um, and I'm sure it was like one turn you got to, to move, or you had to keep picking up portions and stuff like that. So let's just see what happens. Hint, collect 10 coins to survive. Right, well, one down. Now, this game um, is different every time you play it. It's a random dungeon or random castle that you're in. Music's pretty decent, guys. Nice bit of bass there. As you can see, we're starting off at the bottom. Now, they move one move to every one of my moves, but I'm sure you can fight them. I'm not going to be able to go up there, that's for sure. Oh dear. Now we're all just going to get closer and closer. Can I go this way? No. Right. The coin's been found. Hero attacked Ghost, hit 2. Left 1 HP power, HP. Ghost attacked Hero, hit 1. Left 9 HP. You can hide from enemies behind the ledges. Oh, there's a fair few uh, bad guys here. Right, what's this do? Skeleton attacked hero, hit one left. Right, the grave is empty, right? Okay, so let's look at these videos. Oh, we found. Hint, hold fire button and press direction button. some of that, there you go. Right, but I have lost two of me portions. 
So let's have a look around, see what we can see. Chest is empty. Those guys are pretty hard and I've died <laughs> so um, yeah I guess that's my head and that guy's hand there um, is that a wizard's hat I've got on there do you think a bit of blood and guts coming out of me uh, neck game over right this is definitely one that I should have uh, read more of the instructions as you can see set and go guys it's completely different um, let's have a look in here. Oh, hero attacked a skeleton and killed him. Oh, that's a key. That one's empty. So, what is your life? Ah, the life must be the red portion. Oh my god, I'm just about to get smashed all over here. <laughs> Wow, this is way harder than what I thought. Dave, you're doing awesome getting as far as you did, man. <laughs> how many how many practice goals did you have? <laughs> because he was awesome on his video, and I was not expecting this game to be so hard. First, you need to find the key. Ah, right, okay. Right. Die. Coins being found. I wonder what the coins are for. Maybe you can buy stuff later on. Uh, yeah. Oh, I should maybe have not got that straight away. Oh, no. Oh, I was trying to get that last portion. <laughs> I am remarkably bad at this game. <laughs> Is there any other options to make it easier? No. Giga mini map. What's that? Yeah, let's go for that. Eh? <clears throat> All right. I'm not really sure what the difference is. So, first impressions, guys, it's hard for me. Um, the music's good. It's uh, definitely got a bit of a, a, a nice tune to it and a nice bit of bass, which I, I always like a bit of bass in my music. Um, Graphics-wise, it's good. You've got a map up there, so you can see where you're going. Um, then you've got your portions or your attack power and your health power. I'm not sure what the scroll is or the knife. And obviously at the bottom one is the coins you've collected. Um, got a bar along the bottom there to give you information about the game. And you know that nicely drawn little sprite in the middle there, that wizard. There's no real animation, but I've got a feeling that um, a lot of the memory in this game is going to be used up um, in the, uh, the, the, the size of the area, the playing area, because it looks pretty big. Although I've only managed to get about two or three screens. Um, yeah, it's definitely a game that you're going to have to practice with. See as you can hide behind ledges. Oh, there we go. Okay, but he still knows where I am the whole time. Which is a little bit frustrating. Oh, that's all I wanted. Oh, man. Neither was that. See, I think the what you've got to do is, like Dave had said on his video, was um, wait until your portions are quite low, then collect it. Because you can only carry ten. So, um, I've just picked that up for the sake of one portion. See, so yeah, I could have killed them, killed this guy, then picked them up, and I'd have been loads better off. Now, have they seen me? I've got seven portions left, so we're gonna keep that. Got him. Oh, right, and you can actually shoot from a distance. You don't have to be stood right next to them. Okay, that helps a lot. Um, okay, 
Okay, so I've got plenty of red portions up here. Got a blue portion there. So let's have a little investigation down here. Right, now we've got shitloads of people on our case. Another red portion. Okay, not good. I'm out. So I've had to just walk into him there. That must maybe attack with the knife, maybe. But I really need that blue portion. Now, here's the question. There he is. This is not going to help. I've no absolutely rubbish memory, is it? Right, let's go this way. Note there. The levels are huge. I've no idea how many levels there are. But... right now oh no I've only got four of them left ok so I've only got two attack powers left Oh, and I didn't really need that, and I've just walked into it as well. Box. Alright, I'm really pushing me up now. I've got nothing to fight anyone with. And I'm surrounded. Oh, I've got blue potions! Oh no, I can't get them! I just want to get them! I've got them! But... I died! <laughs> I thought it had crashed, but alas, more poor gameplay by myself, and I've died. So guys, Vladax Sphere, what do you think about that? Um, it's definitely going to be an enjoyable game, it's definitely a game that um, you're going to have to put a lot more effort into, um, more effort than what I've put in. Tell you what though, this music is really starting to grow on me now, it's... Uh, wasn't too sure at first. Well, it's good music. I see. I'm, I really, really enjoy me uh, music. It brings back nostalgia to all the games. And when it comes to 8-bit game music, I just love it. Um, so for me, a big part of the game is the music. And luckily enough, these days with the homebrew uh, games that are coming out for the Spectrum and the Commodore 64, um, I've not so much the Amstrad. I'm having a bit of a problem trying to find any um, homebrew games for the Amstrad. So if you guys uh, have Amstrad or you play homebrew on Amstrad, um, if you just stick below where where you get them from and or what games you recommend, because um, I'm looking looking for some Amstrad games to play because it's feeling a bit left out there on the bottom shelf, not getting used. So come on, Amstrad special brew, special brew. Jesus, that's longer. <laughs> and I haven't actually been drinking because I'm on call, so I'm not allowed to. Um, couple of mentions I just want to say um, well done to my friend Paul Bads Mr Bads Gaming um, he got to a thousand uh, subscribers so I'm absolutely over the moon for him um, also I'm sure as you well know um, Scott Brand he got his uh, thousand subscribers and uh, he won YouTuber of the year so now he gets presented every month so I'm looking forward to that um, on Sunday night from 8 o'clock um, I'm hopefully going to be on the Retro Shed, uh, the swap shop. So I've got an absolute shed load of games that um, I'm just too lazy to put on eBay. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna gonna see if anyone's interested in them. There will be a lot of um, eight bit games, but there's also I've got Wii, uh, PS1, PS2, um, Nintendo DS, all sorts of different stuff like that. Um, so yeah, be be good to see you guys there if you can if you can maybe watch. So I'm a little bit nervous about it because it's like a, a live thing and I haven't done a live um, broadcast for a long time. So um, obviously the I can't even have any red wine or anything. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be stressed out a little bit, but we'll see how it goes anyway. Um, Lee, the the guy who um, who who runs that the, his channel Retro Chef, absolutely spot on lad. Um, he's a top of bloke so uh, I've had a bit of a chat with them and so uh, it's all good so yeah kind of nervously looking forward to it so hopefully I'll see you guys then but for tonight from Retrobeat good night